Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. We continue our lecture, Chapter 2, Inequalities and Absolute Values. So today we're going to learn subtopic 2.2, Absolute Values. So what are we going to learn in this subtopic? First thing we're going to learn is the properties of absolute values. Second, we're going to learn how to solve absolute equations. And last one, we're going to learn how to solve absolute inequalities. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to state the properties of absolute values and solve absolute equations. There are five properties of absolute values and three forms of absolute equation that we are going to learn later. What is absolute value? The absolute value of A represents the distance of a point A on the real number from the origin. If A is on the right, then we can represent the distance by absolute value of A, which is equals to A. If A is on the left, which is shown by this sign of negative, then the distance of negative a from the origin is represented by absolute of negative a which is also equals to a. The absolute of real number a can be defined as positive a for a is greater than or equal to zero and negative a for a is less than zero or absolute value of a equals to square root of a square. Therefore, absolute value of A is non-negative for every A is real number. Example 1. Define the following absolute values. Absolute value of X plus 5. Focus on the X plus 5. So, we may write down as... 1 is for positive x plus 5 for x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0 and the other one is negative x plus 5 for x plus 5 is less than 0. Be careful that you need to put a bracket in front of the negative. Let us simplify. Absolute of x plus 5 is equal to positive x plus 5 and negative x plus 5 let us expand negative x minus 5 and for the interval we can bring this positive 5 to the right hand side and become x is greater than or equal to negative 5 and x is less than negative 5 this is how we defined absolute of 5 minus x so let's do the same to define this question. Focus on 5 minus x. 1 is for positive 5 minus x, where the interval 5 minus x is greater than or equal to 0. Negative 5 minus x for 5 minus x is less than 0. Simplify. To define absolute of 5 minus x is equals to positive 5 minus x. To simplify this interval, let us bring negative x to the right hand side. Then we're going to get 5 is greater than or equals to x. If we swap left hand side with right hand side, then we're going to get x is less than or equals to 5. Let us expand. Then we're going to get negative 5 plus x and for the interval we're going to get x is greater than 5. This is the common mistake that used to happen writing the wrong interval. Now we don't write negative in front of 5 minus x just 5 minus x. Let's learn how to state the properties of absolute values. The first property, absolute value of A is greater than or equals to 0. If we have absolute value of 5, which is equals to 5, and 
5 is greater than 0. An absolute value of 0 is 0. The second property, absolute value of A equals to absolute value of negative A. So if you have absolute value of 5, which is equal to 5, absolute value of negative 5 is also equal to 5. So we can say that absolute value of 5 equals to absolute value of negative 5. The third property, absolute value of A plus B is equal to absolute value of B plus A. If we have absolute value of 5 plus 3, which is equals to absolute value of 8, and absolute value of 8 is 8. The same thing if we have absolute value of 3 plus 5, which is absolute value of 8, and absolute value of 8 is also 8. Therefore, absolute value of 5 plus 3 is equal to 3 plus 5. We'll do the same thing for the property absolute value of A minus B, which is equal to absolute value of B minus A. If we have absolute value of 5 minus 3, which is equal to absolute value of 2, and absolute value of 2 is 2. Then, absolute value of 3 minus 5 equals to absolute value of negative 2. Absolute value of negative 2 is 2. Then we can say that absolute value of 5 minus 3 is equal to absolute value of 3 minus 5. The next property, we have absolute value of AB equals to absolute value of A times width absolute value of B. So if we have absolute value of 5 times width 3, which is equals to absolute value of 15, and absolute value of 15 is 15. If we have absolute value of 3 times width absolute value of 5, then we're going to get 3 times width 5. 3 times 5 is 15. Therefore, absolute value of 5 times 3 is equal to absolute value of 5 times with absolute value of 3. The last property, if we have absolute value of A over B is equal to absolute value of A over absolute value of B with the condition that B is not equal to 0. If we have absolute value 5 over 3, it is equal to 5 over 3. So if we have absolute value of 5 over absolute value of 3, it is equals to absolute value of 5 is 5 over with absolute value of 3 is 3. So we can say that absolute value of 5 over 3 is equals to absolute value of 5 over absolute value of 3. Thanks for learning. Sincerely, Teacher 1.